Welcome to a short video course focusing on lean design with the FileMaker platform. Now, a number of you are probably wondering, what is this all about? Well, lean design is about making a high speed, highly efficient FileMaker custom application. Said another way, it means making a FileMaker custom application that you can load up onto the cloud, which can be used by many users simultaneously and all those users will have high speed, snappy performance. Now, if you've been in the FileMaker business for any period of time, a custom application that provides quick, snappy performance is one of the criteria by which users judge a successful application. The application has to help the users accomplish some task, but it also has to do it kind of in a fast and snappy way. The users can't be sitting there waiting for things to happen. Lean Design is about making a great visual design as well as great engineering work under the hood to make sure your FileMaker application is very performant. That means that it's going to work rapidly across the internet and people don't have to wait for it. Now, putting on this course is Nick Hunter. In fact, you'll see him and I going back and forth discussing Lean Design. Now, Nick Hunter has a wildly different history even than I do. He spent a number of years at FileMaker Incorporated as well as Apple learning all the ins and outs of proper design, how to make things visually appealing while being high speed. In fact, initially, I thought this material would be really great for beginning and intermediate developers. However, I'm finding out that a number of the senior staff that we have, including myself, well, every time we watch Nick do an hour or 90 minute presentation, we end up learning at least one or two things that we didn't know already. And we've been doing FileMaker work for a lot of years. So all of Nick's direct interaction with FileMaker Incorporated with the engineering and product management teams there has resulted in him learning a tremendous amount about how to make a FileMaker custom application work very rapidly. Now this video course was initially shot over five days and each day was about a 90 minute to two hour session. We've gone ahead and cleaned up those recordings and broken those five days down to about 10 parts. Now a couple important tips along the way. One, there's a tremendous amount of content to absorb here. This content is really too big for any setting other than a short video course. If you had to go and spend time with Nick in person, you would not be able to absorb all the information in one sitting. I don't know really anyone who can. So here are my suggestions. Watch an hour of this course at a time. Take notes. Now, do you have to adopt all of Nick's strategies? Not at all. I would focus on finding a couple nuggets that will help you make great applications. So in each one hour section, you're going to find two or three really critical pieces that will probably help you. You don't need to adopt all of it. I find that I agree with most everything he says, but there's some things I prefer to do differently for various reasons. Does that mean that I'm wrong or Nick's right or Nick's wrong and I'm right? Not at all. The idea is for you to watch the video, take away some important nuggets of knowledge to make your custom applications work better, work faster, because your customers need you to make great custom applications. That's what this course is all about, making you a better FileMaker developer. So once again, focus on watching the videos, taking some notes, and then trying to grab a couple nuggets that you can learn, a couple critical bits that you didn't know that you can implement in your next FileMaker custom application to make it run better, make it run faster, delivering a much more snappy or performant custom application to your customers. So with that, let's get started.